Maps in SAS allow for a complex array of data to be grouped together. Maps can take on the form of an object like syntax and structure with the ability to build a hierarchy, such as nesting multiple objects within an object. Let's review the syntax of a map. Firstly, we can see each map is contained within a variable. Then, we have the opening and closing brackets with an ending semicolon in the SCSS syntax. Between the two brackets, we have the key and value pairs. Think of the map as a house, and in the house you have many rooms. Each room requires a key to access that room. So when we target a key, we then get access to the value that's stored within that key. Also, when giving your keys their title, please remember no spaces or special characters. Between each key and value is a colon, and each key and value pair is separated by a comma. You may want to write small, simple maps in line like the variable map2. It's important to note a key can contain any acceptable data type, including maps. The third example is a little more complex with the key titled nested map, containing a map. Maps are mostly manipulated through SAS script functions, so now let's examine those functions and see the output. In order to demonstrate map SAS script functions, I'll produce a little CSS. Firstly, I'll start with map keys. This function will produce a list of all the keys available within a map. This function requires one argument, which is the map, to be passed in. Once saved, we can see the produced code. Next, we have the map values function. This prints out a list of values within a map. This again only requires the map that we want to print all of the values out of to be passed in. Please be careful when trying to print values of maps that contain nested maps, like map3 for instance, as this will cause an error. We can also determine if a map has a key stored within it. To do this, we use the map has key function. This requires two arguments to be passed in. First, the map. The second argument is the key we're looking for. This will return a Boolean value for true, which means that the key was found, or false if it wasn't found. Please note whenever you're typing in a key name that it is case sensitive. We can obtain the value of a key by using the map get function. The first argument is the map and the second argument is the key we want to target. Once saved, we can see the key's value being produced. Next, we would like to merge some maps together using the map merge function. This requires two arguments, which are the maps you would like to merge together, and in our case, this is map1 and map2. This function will produce an error, as it tries to output the map syntax within a CSS property and SAS errors because of this. In order to stop the error, we can use the inspect function to return a string containing the value as its SAS representation. So what we're doing is we're nesting a function inside of another function. And that way, the returned value from the map merge function will be represented as a string and therefore it will not error when it outputs to the CSS. Finally, we have the map remove function that allows us to remove a single key or multiple keys from a map and then output the map itself. Again, I'm going to use the inspect function so that we don't produce an error. The first argument is the map, which in our case is map2. The second argument will be the key I want to remove, so I'll ask it to remove key1. Now we can see key1 has been removed from the output, Let's remove key2 also. All I have to do is put in a comma and type another key name that I would like to remove. 
Once saved, both keys will be removed, leaving only key 3 in the map. And you can keep on going in this fashion, removing more keys if you would like. So there are lots of things that you can do with maps, and there's more than one way to use them. But right now, I want you to concentrate on the syntax of the map, and also those map sascript functions and how they can be manipulated. Also, if you do get errors, don't forget you have the inspect function to escape the output. Also, if you take a look at the SAS syntax, you'll notice again it's very, very similar. We have the variable declaration, we have the map which is contained within brackets, we have the key and value pair separated by commas, and the key and the value separated by a colon. Now, what's important to note is that you must declare your maps all in line, which again, I'm not favorable of when it comes to large maps. And also, we don't put the ending semicolon on there, and you can see we have exactly the same amount of functionality as well.